Hi, my name is Mir Patel. Nice to meet you again. Founder of My Tokenized Capital and recently winning the award for the best tokenized asset platform at the AIBC last night. With me, I have a friend over here, Sheldon from Gibraltar. He's a law firm and specializing in fintech companies. So Sheldon, quick two minutes, what you do, how you can help people in the fintech space, some of the companies you may have worked with. Fantastic, so I live in Gibraltar, we are... Uh, uh, My son lives in Gibraltar, by the way. Ah, it's such a small place, I probably had Okay, there you go, I will give him your number. Okay, so I live in Gibraltar where I work for a, a law firm that's actually the largest employer in Gibraltar, we're a full service law firm. And uh, we are a, a jurisdiction that's really championed the whole crypto movement, the security token movement. And we have very large clients like eToro and INX and, and uh, Atari. And, and the reason that Gibraltar is so advanced is because we're very conservative. We're like a British quality firm. And in this, in this industry, you want to go with the best practices. You want to go with principles-based advice and the gold standard is in compliance is really going to get you places in this business because it, it will not only redound to the benefit of everyone on, on the exit cycle, but it's also a, a, a industry populated by kind of mediocrity and even less. So the brand in Gibraltar is very, very high levels of compliance and uh, we enjoy a tremendous reputation. My, I am personally a, a Wall Street lawyer with a a very famous firm called Cooley and I'm also a Canadian lawyer with uh, Baker McKenzie and I'm admitted in Israel and I take care of a lot of the Israeli clients that that are are doing so well in crypto now yeah absolutely and you know the thing is um, you, you you touched on it that it's going with the right law firm because even Dubai if you look at it uh, they've been struggling to try and get proper crypto uh, or any fintech type of licensing in a regulated manner as well as even the banking side of it doesn't exist so is there any tips or something that you could say you know they need to look at xyz to make sure that you know it's not just a blockchain right. place but to accelerate it a little right bit. so a lot a lot of uh, a lot in this industry right now is elective is optional you can choose to be regulated or unregulated whether it's in DLT administration or ICO. The general rule that the world doesn't understand, why is the United States the center of capital markets and finance? It's not because only that's where the money is. It's because it's the most regulated jurisdiction in the world. There's more financial regulation in the United States in, in, in finance than there is in every other type of regulation put together. It's, it's heavily, heavily regulated. Yeah. That's why it succeeds. So I tell all you fintech people and blockchain people is to try and be as regulated and compliant as possible. It will stand you very, very well. And and if it's the funny money, people don't want to go and chase the funny money people. If they see that seal, that regulated confidence, license, confidence, trust is gained. Confidence and, and trust, trust is what money is about. People will let you, they'll let you touch your factory, That's they'll right. let you touch your your uh, exchange, whatever you know, it is, your wallet. But when it's money, it's, it's got to be regulation. Absolutely. And, and there's lots of, you know, unfortunately bad stories about the bad actors in this market. So regulation's key. Uh, in terms smart, of rate, smart regulation. Smart rate. So in terms of Gibraltar, what's unique about the whole fintech regs? So well, G Gibraltar's unique because Gibraltar had a history with gaming. Absolutely. That they got the ahead. The gaming casinos have always been there. And they only took the top 10% of the industry, yeah, yeah. like Playtech. Yes. And the, they had a brand. And so in 2015, the regula it's such a small place. The regulators, the government, the law firms, the accounting firms, they all went to school together. They're all married to each other's friends. They got together and created a regime that's, that was in advance of the industry where everybody's interests are aligned and they created the, uh, a, a regime, we call it the DLT regime, the Distributed Ledger Technology. Yeah. And that has been paramount in the world, like it's very, very highly respected. It takes a little bit longer, we're a little bit more careful, but because we, we have an interest as a law firm and as, an, as a jurisdiction to make everybody happy and successful. We don't want any failures, we don't want any problems. Absolutely. It's a reputation business, that's why. Children, really great to see you. And nice to have you here. 
Thank you again, everyone. Go check Sheldon's company out.